Well, hello everybody and welcome to another installment of 3 Minute Tasting where we explore the vast world of spirits. Today we're going to do something a little bit different to celebrate the closing of Season 2 and to launch Season 3. We thought that we might want to take a few questions from the YouTube universe. I get a lot of questions about why do you use that glassware? Why are the cuts so short? And does this review really do anything for me? So I figured it's time to bring the YouTube community to us. I'm your host, Mike G, and here to answer these 10 questions is our favorite bourbon guide himself, Mr. Sheed Barrett. Bourbon culture, how do you feel about it? I never have a bad time when it comes to talking about bourbon. So it's, it's just, it's a, it's a endless fountain. So let's dive right into 10 questions from our YouTube subscribers. Our first question comes from Wellerfeller79, and he asks, why is Weller 12 the best whiskey in the world? <sighs> I don't know what to say because that's insane to me. So question number two comes from sleeping with an N on the couch and they ask, is refinancing my mortgage a good price to pay for Sazerac 18? No, it's not. Um, but if you're considering that kind of thought process, you're probably not, I'm just guessing here, probably not overly financially responsible in the first place. The air around the Sazerac is not, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be doing this to ourselves. And question number three from YouTube comes from the user Daddy's Issues with a Z, and they ask, how many bottles of Blanton's do I need to buy to make my father proud? It's not a bad question. <laughs> Taste the Blanton's, enjoy it. Maybe see if you can dabble outside your circle. Um, save yourself a buck and also not be that guy. Just one bottle. Uno. Do that. One bottle, I would say. One bottle to rectify a lifetime of inadequacies and problems with one's father. I think that's, that's Easily, perfect advice. Yeah. Great. Very transparent. Question number four comes from Jade Goodward. And they ask, what is a tater? And the second follow-up question, are you a tater? <laughs> To the best of my knowledge, a tater is one who does uh, what we call glorifying bottles. The glorification of bottle is simply somebody who buys a product without even having any information other than the fact that it's rare or it's elusive or it's allocated or it's hard to get. That person breaks their back to try to find that bottle and then in some gesture via maybe possibly social media will post it and brag about it but most likely never open it. That's what I think a tater is. Are you a tater to follow up the second part of this question? No, I open everything I buy. I open everything I buy almost immediately. Question five from the YouTube universe comes from Not Really Bourbon 13 and they ask, is there dickle in that? Ah. Is there dickle in that? Hmm. And onward with the questions from the YouTube subscribers. Number six from It's Too Smoky. Why is scotch gross? Word. And we have yet another really insightful question from apparently an amateur designer, this YouTube subscriber, Netscape for Life, L-Y-F-E, of course, ask, Dear Three Minute Tasting, will you help me design my store barrel pick sticker? I have Paint Shop Pro. That's a great resource. What do you think, Sheed? I think all of that question is wrong. We're going to circle back to that, but... Uh, well, I saw a really nice label, had a unicorn, a grandma, and a bowl of chili on it. This is really a beautiful frontier for creative output, don't you think, these store labels? If I saw a bottle with a sticker with a unicorn, a bowl of chili, as you say, and what was, what was the third? A grandmother. A grandmother. I would be intrigued, but I would also be, I'd be horrified, attacked. I don't know that you should have announced that you, were, you have Paint Shop Pro. I don't know what that does for you. Also, there's pho Photoshop works too, right? You can yeah, I've heard illustrate of that. with that. Yeah. Have you heard of that? Yeah, I've heard of it. I'm just um... And question number nine comes from our subscriber, a good friend, 1980, and they ask, my best friend's wedding is tomorrow. C congratulations. Congrats, congrats, congrats. I wanted to get him a great gift, 
really good. This person sounds like a best man, maybe. Mm -hmm. Can you help me find a bottle of Pappy Van Winkle? <laughs> oh my God, you're killing me. No, 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 I cannot. Stop glorifying bottles. Stop being a tater. That's tater-esque philosophy. Absolutely stop it. You can buy a bottle that you resonate with, something that maybe you and your homeboy have had or consumed together. If he's your best man, probably in the books for that. You can check that box off. That's what you get. And the last of 10 questions submitted by our YouTube subscribers is, does this taste good? Does it? The question is, does this taste good? Yeah. I'm gonna give you a little quick follow up on how to ascertain whether something tastes good. You don't need whiskey notes, you don't even need a pad or a pen. All you need is a bottle, you need a glass, right? So, I'm gonna open this, like so. Bottle's open. But that was sealed. It was sealed, and now it's not. It's open now. This is a bottle of Old Charter 10. It smells great. I'm going to put said whiskey in glass. Wait, but you just drank it. Mm-hmm. That's correct, Michael. I did. It is good. It is, it's, it's very good. Taste that, oh my God, taste that. But it was clo- That's the thing. That's the thing. Here's the situation. Uh, open your shit. Open it. I can't believe you opened the bottle. I mean, Mike. <laughs> so there we have it. 10 questions submitted by our YouTube subscribers. Season three of Three Minute Tasting drops today on this fine Tuesday. We get Sheed talking about bourbon culture and really helping us understand what the hell is going on. So we look forward to some great episodes this season, a lot of great bottles, and we're gonna open a whole lot more. So thanks everybody for watching. We hope to see you soon. Cheers. Well, with color, I'm coming for you. And also DIY, you're an idiot. Um, and uh, you can find me, come find me. I'll find you.